Okay folks, so I'm going to tie a wee duck fly pattern. Um, the hook I have on the vise is a size 10 standard heavyweight bat fly hook. Now you can tie these down to obviously size 14 depending on the, 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 the species that are hatching off the lock at the time. Um, this pattern here is a pattern that was first tied by a gentleman called Cyril Conlon. Um, and I believe Cyril would have faced this fly on Loch Corum. So I'll just go and sh show you how to, to tie the fly. Um, the thread that I'm going to use is Ultra Thread in 70 in black by UTC. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. Just knock on a few turns and then remove the, the waist tag of the thread. Now there's a tag to go around the bend and it's silver. And I'm just this is just the silver and gold mailar tinsel that I'm going to use to create this tag. Now, you want to bring this tag a wee ways around the bend. Okay, then just bring your thread back up. Now, I'm just going to park my thread when I'm level with the barb. Now you got to protect the tag. And to do that you can use varnish or whatever you like. I'm just going to put on a wee dab of super glue. And then you just simply bring your, your tag up. Your, your tinsel up, sorry. Just winding over your super glue. Just one turn slightly overlapping the other to create the tag. Just up until it meets your thread. Keep it a hold of the tinsel. Just fly it across with your thread. In a couple of turns I'll secure that in for you. Then you can come in and just nip away the excess of the tinsel. Now the body is going to be the, the black thread and to protect that I'm going to use a, a small silver wire. So I'm just going to tie this on my side the length of the body and then just run your, your thread up tying this in I like to see a bit of a taper in my duck fly pattern so I'm just spinning the thread anti-clockwise and this will flatten the thread out. I'm just going to bring my thread touch and turns right the whole way back down to where I tied in the tag and then I'm going to come back up and I'm going to spin the thread again anti-clockwise then I'm going to bring it down halfway and then back up and then down halfway of that again to there and then back up just trying to create a, a small taper and hopefully you can see that on the camera and then just simply bring up your wire rib now you're probably looking four or five turns of the wire rib up the body to there just keeping a hold of your wire just fly it across with your thread Right, just keep it on my side. I'm going to tie this in the length of the thorax right up to the eye, hook of the eye. Or sorry, the eye of the hook. Right, just keep the thread tight and just bend and break away the wire. Right, let's bring my thread back down into position at this point. I'm going to spin my thread clockwise now just to tighten it up. Just to make it a wee bit rounder for me. Now I'm going to tie in two small white cock haggles just to give an impression of wings. Let's get them in my hand here. That's in there. Now I'm just going to get them leveled up the best I can. And then I'm just going to offer these up to the hook. And the length of the wings is a personal preference. It's entirely up to yourself. I'm just going to have mine coming back to touch the tag. Right. Just keep a hold of them on the top of the shank, on top of the hook. Then just come around with a couple of light turns of thread, and then we can see what way these are positioned. Right. That one's rolled around on me. So just bring it back round. Nothing set in stone yet, so you can get these sitting nice. Do you want them level? Okay, happy enough for that, so I'm just going to hold the 
the two tips of the haggle and then tighten up with a couple of turns and then I'm just going to come in and trim away the excess of the, the haggle fibre we'll just trim that away and then we'll just bring our thread down tidying this up nice wee simple duck fly pattern this it's a good fly to have in your box if you're going to fish the, the big Irish logs all right just bring my thread back down I'll just show you the wings some two wee wings there okay right. next part of the fly is the thorax and this is the original pattern I'm tying so I'm going to use some hot orange seals fur for the thorax now you only need a wee pinch of this get it dubbed on and we'll slide that up Right. Just take this up. Nice bit of colour under the thorax. Now, now anything that wants to go forward, just stroke it back. Nice tight turns of thread and up the front. Just fix your wings. Okay, now you can bring some of that dubbing out if you want. It's up to yourself. The haggle on the fly is a hand haggle. This is just a hand haggle, black. So just come in. I'm just going to reveal the tip of the haggle, turn in the hole, then a couple of turns to secure in the tip. I'm going to fold the tip back and bring the thread back up over the tip. Now, just come in and locate the tip and break it away. Now, the turns at the front is entirely up to yourself. It's high, heavy, you like your flies dressed. Now, I'm only going to put in two turns, that'll do me. So just two turns of the hand haggle at the front, keeping a hold of your hand haggle. Just follow it around with your thread. Gonna turn in the hole. Right, I want to get right into the stem. I don't want to be creating bulk. So all I'm doing is just holding the stem of the haggle down. And I can see that I'm getting right into the stem. Just another couple of turns in there. And just come in with a nice pair of sharp scissors and just clip away the stem of the haggle. Now, anything that wants to go forward, just come in and fold it back and then simply just tie this in. Just tie everything in nice and tight now, creating your head at the same time. Keeping your thread tight. Just come in with your whip finishing tool and just throw in a whip finish. A couple of whip finishes nice and tight. Pull your thread tight and then just come in with your scissors and just trim away the thread. Now just to finish off, just a wee coat of clear varnish. Just on the head. if you get some in the eye clear that out in a wee second put a wee square here just use this bit on the spool just come in and clean out your clean out your eye and there you go that's the, the wee duck fly now there's a couple of ways you can tie that if you don't want to put a silver tag on Bring your thread or your silk right around the bend but that's the original pattern that Cyril would have tied so look give the fly a wee go you face the big Irish locks um, and hopefully it can catch you a few fish <laughs>